we headed over to Beulah, Michigan. It's about three and a half hours out of the Detroit area. Uh, go and visit uh, Tina's Bed and Biscuits. Tina got a hold of me on Facebook when I put up uh, the new shelter build that I'm going to do. She applied and sent me a nice video of uh, what her shelter looks like. Um, it started years ago with 27 sled dogs um, that needed to have immediate placement. I lived in Frankfurt. I used all of the equity in my house in Frankfurt and bought this place to move 27 dogs to. The 27 dogs here it was supposed to be a short-term situation, um, turned into be a lifetime situation for them. And it got to a point where I was taking in more and more unadaptable shelter dogs because they weren't, the rescues didn't want them. And of course shelters are going to put them down. I just wanted them to have a second chance, you know, at least a good viable chance. And even if they had to stay here for life, didn't bother me. I do get some donations, but for the most part, it's coming out of my own pocket. My name is Gordon Shell, former MMA fighter, and I've dedicated my life to animal advocacy. Now I've started an animal rescue rehabilitation program. With over 30 years in the construction industry, I can rebuild or remodel just about anything. Tina's bed and breakfast is in desperate need of a new walkway, new decking, and all of this exposed wood needs to be covered. So what we're doing here is, as you can see, the old exposed wood that was there, that's the original, that's old womanized wood that was done years ago, but it is outdated, doesn't pass the Department of Agriculture standards to get her licensing. What we're doing is this is composite decking, which is non-porous, so this will pass the Department of Agriculture standards and she'll be able to get her licensing. So we'll get it up to those standards, but there's a lot of improvement that can be made beyond that. So that's, that's our goal is to get her the base, get her approved, and then we'll turn it into a really exceptional shelter. We started wrapping the posts over here, if you look. We can't have any exposed wood, so we're wrapping FRP, which is fire rated panel on this. This will get covered on all sides. So we put one side on today so that we can move the kennels over, butt them against the posts, and then we'll continue on. Tomorrow, we a lot ahead of us. We'll Sunday, to finish it up. Day three on the shelter build. You saw what we did yesterday. We moved some kennels late last night. As you can see here, we brought in an excavator. All the bad sidewalks with the rotted lumber have all been ripped out. They've already been hauled away. So we got rid of all this. And then we're gonna build all new walkways through here uh, sometime today and tomorrow. And this morning, we got a few more hands. We've started up here. Yesterday we started by framing in the soffits and now we put vinyl up so we're going to cover all this exposed wood have vinyl so we won't have any exposed wood. We've already started framing up the second half so that we can start putting composite decking down. As you can see they're carrying in panels now to get the ceiling done. So we'll have the composite decking down, the ceiling uh, going up. The girls are painting uh, all the wood. This morning we were delivered by Shorts Brewery uh, right here local. Uh, delivered two custom-built dog houses, great slogans, and then a whole pile of beer for later this afternoon. And we want to say thank you to Shorts Brewery because uh, of all the donation, the donation of the beer. Um, somebody donated some proceeds to actually get them the materials, but the owner of Shorts hand-built those dog houses, painted them, custom-made them, delivered them this morning. So thank you to them, and thank you for our celebration beverages this afternoon. Today and hopefully get about 90% of this done.
So everywhere we had that rotted old wood, we've now replaced that with a composite decking, given a nice stable, clean walkway going right up to the massive deck where all the dogs are. And as I said, we were gonna cover all that exposed ceiling wood and rafters with this really bright white vinyl ceiling material. Uh, given a non-porous finish. The soffits that used to be open wood are all now covered with a nice clean vinyl that'll give us Department of Agriculture approval. And lastly, the living quarters needed a fresh coat of paint, especially to cover all the exposed wood. So thank you to all of the volunteers and donors that made this dream come true for Tina and the dogs.